Good morning, YouTube. It is Sunday, 10 a.m. in the great state of Texas, and we're taking some of this scrap that you see here, and we're gonna make out another epoxy bowl. And let's get started. So I've got some glitter here. I've got some yellow and green, really fine glitter that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Gonna mix this up in our East Coast resin batch over here using, uh, I'm not exactly sure, I think this is like 64 ounces worth of epoxy. Mixing that up really good in the garage. I did this project back in, it's either April or May. I've got like 10 videos that I'm doing the commentary for uh, tonight. And uh, this is something that I've needed to get out. So you guys probably aren't watching this until the fall time. So we did this early springtime, April, May, sometime around there. So got the scrap wood. Obviously, you guys, seen, you guys have seen me do that in numerous projects where we just stack it in the middle, try to save as much room for epoxy. And this is going to be primarily just a epoxy bowl, even though we've got that waste block in the middle. And I'm trying to get a little bit better with these pours. Uh, you're going to see in a couple of other projects later on. I overflow the bucket a little bit and get it all over the workbench. But casting went really well. We're using East Coast resin again, like I said earlier before. I really like the way this turned out. Everything is nice, even for the most part. And I'm pretty excited. We got the waste block on top. So this is what it looks like outside of the mold itself. Almost dropped it there. Really cool cl color. Real slimer kind of color. If you guys have ever watched the Ghostbusters movie from the 80s, uh, that's what it looks like to me at least with some glitter. Really like the way this is going to turn out. This is actually one of my favorite projects that I've done because I'm so happy the way it turned out. So here we are. Uh, got, you know, a little slipperage there. And my ring light kept, keeps coming off. So that's obviously going to be a problem a little bit. In. And then my camera is zooming in and out obviously causing some problems so we're just screwing everything in getting the faceplate put on again i don't screw the uh screws down all the way uh only because usually that gives me problems and it doesn't turn so getting everything on the midi lathe here everything nice and attached you can see everything's pretty much nice and even so i'm pretty excited at this point and i haven't watched a lot of these videos there are literally 10 videos that i'm doing the commentary for in the next two days so I have forgotten a lot of details that have happened, so bear with me. So uh, from what I can remember, everything went pretty smooth on this project. The end result is absolutely great. Uh, it's sad that a lot of people don't get to the end of the video, or maybe people fast forward to the end project, but I'm really happy the way this bowl turned out. So in our typical fashion, what we're doing is taking the bowl gouge, getting that superficial layer off like we typically do, and then just coming back, hitting it with a round carbide tool, getting that nice even bottom like we want to do so we can start forming a tannin and there there is the side of my head zoomed in for some reason ah wear your face shield people i can't tell you enough how many times i got hit in the face with uh shrapnel from some of these projects that i did uh back in the springtime you saw there there was a little bit of a divot some of the epoxy didn't mold up exactly the way we wanted even though the mold looks good when i took it out of the mold obviously there was a little bit of a divot problem there and the camera automatically zoomed in but that kind of looks kind of cool so I'm a little bit happy with this shot working on my YouTube skills here a little bit so again just making every sh making sure everything is nice and even trying to get those imperfections out epoxy all over the workbench obviously and still more problems there so we just come back taking off even more material which in the end really doesn't matter because it makes it look a lot uh, finer on the bottom and you can see the webbing that's clearly in the way here getting all over the place and I'm having to go back and you know take it off my hands take all the shavings off trying to make some reasonable workspace and now we're just finishing at the bottom I bought a new glue gun that you guys will see in another project but uh, that glue once it hits the carbide tool it kind of gumps up on the tip of the chisel so I had to be really fine with as far as getting everything off the round carbide tool because it'll build up and then it'll cause problems later on but came back hit everything with the flat chisel the flat skew i guess that's what that's called and just making everything nice and even resting the tool on top of the blank making sure everything is just the way that i want and pretty happy except for these darn chips that i can't get rid of so came back now we're making the mortise uh, i think here i'm that's either the round or the square carbide tool. Usually I start out with a bowl gouge when I'm starting to form my mortise, but I, I guess I didn't do it that particular time. 
So here we are, you can see here, that's clearly the square carbide tool. Adjusting the banjo, making sure everything is nice and level because I can tell you that if it's not, you're going to get a lot of kickback on the actual uh, chisel itself. Make sure everything's nice and even on the bottom before we form that tannin. That soft pine is really easy. Taking some small little swipes with the round carbide tool, trying to get everything nice and even. And we're almost done. Then we're going to size up the chuck. And we're ready to reverse it on the chuck here. Simple process. Put that up against there. Tighten it down. Unlock it and turn it. Now we're ready to go for the majority of the bowl. So same thing, getting everything nice and even, getting the lip of the bowl taken care of. I started to realize that, you know, maybe hitting it with the uh, bowl gouge on the tip of the bowl over the lip of the bowl isn't advantageous for a good project. So I'm getting a little bit better about doing that. Again, sorry for the shoddy camera work there, I'm trying to get everything nice and even. But coming back, hitting that waste block, getting that uh, superficial layer off with the round or with the square carbide tool there. And uh, I guess I didn't put enough epoxy there, but usually I just take, you know, the uh, top of that waste block off, but that was epoxied on, so I wasn't able to take the chisel and pop it off like I usually do. So we're just having to do the process of getting it down with the round and the square carbide tool. Ended up getting it down to this point and then just hit it with a hand saw, getting that off. And boop, there that went. So now we have the blank pretty much formed to the shape and size that we want. And now we are just taking that, uh, there goes there goes the, the ring light again, turning off. And I did get a new ring light. Some of these projects have the old ring light and some of them have the new. That's why the uh, light turns on and off like that. So in the later projects, you guys won't have to worry about that. So here we are on and off again. I'm just like, son of a bitch, the show must go on. So... <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm literally watching this for the first time, trying to remember all of this. I know, shoddy YouTube work, but I think it's more spontaneous this way. And I've said, that, I've said in some other videos, woodworking needs personality, and you got to put the imperfections in there if you're going to like put your personality into it. So I'm not the best woodworker, so neither is my camera work. I apologize. Go watch Nick Zametti if you need professionalism. That guy's a really good woodworker and bull turner. Really like his videos. So Nick Zametti. Uh, that's what we're, we're uh, you know, we're trying to get to his level. Obviously, we're, we're not there yet. So anyway, back to the, my project. P gouged everything out. Now we're just working on, on the lip. Uh, we abandoned the uh, carbide tool. Not the carbide tool, obviously. We're using that. Uh, the bowl gouge, and now we're just hitting the side of the lip of the bowl with both the square and the round carbide tool. Making sure everything is nice and even, trying to get that nice angle on it. I try to make the lips of these bowls as thin as possible because I think the epoxy pops a little bit better. So here we are, final project. It's all nice and gouged out. You can see all of the shavings on the workbench. This is what it looks like before we ended up sanding it. Ring light is obviously there. It's a little bit later in the day. You can see the sun going down in the background. All the shavings splattered all over the wall, all over the floor. And this is shavings from just one epoxy bowl. So here we are the next day doing our typical sanding that we usually do, 340, going all the way up to 1500, and then coming back and hitting it with a micro mesh. And with these bowls, these they're not very large bowls. I would call these medium-sized bowls. Uh, I'm starting to use a lot more sandpaper, taking my time really sanding it out. I really think that really just makes it pop a little bit. And there's my uh, cheap... 98 cent coffee in the background making an appearance and you can already see the glow in this and it looks absolutely fantastic i'm really happy the way this turned out and there's that shoddy transition right there hitting it with the wood wax like we typically will do everything looks nice and even really happy just polishing it down really getting that wood wax in there i wish the waste block wasn't in there it probably would have looked a lot better but i'm still at the end of the day really happy the way this turned out it looks absolutely spectacular in my opinion that green depending on the light in the room really pops and it it looks like slimer from ghostbusters so i'm really happy about how this turned out and here we are just polishing it down one more time also by the way i know a lot of the time i don't post these videos i only post one video a week but if you want to see the projects that i'm up to you guys can follow me on instagram and tiktok 
if you want to see just what these bowls look like uh, before the video comes out. Obviously YouTube, I do the full projects, but the end result I usually post on my TikTok and my Instagram. It's Salty Texas, same as the YouTube channel on both platforms. So here we are, you can see that nice glitter, all nice and in there. Everything looks really good. Look how it just sparkles in the sun absolutely love the way this turned out one of my best projects that i've ever done so hope you guys like the project you guys are probably aren't watching this till winter time and i'll see you guys in the next project make sure to subscribe we're trying to get to a thousand before the end of the year or as soon as possible just a nice number and i'll check you out in the next video peace okay so project's done and this one, you know what, it surprised me how well it turned out. That glitter you can really see in the resin, I'm gonna call this the Green Slimer Sparkle Bowl, I think, yeah. So not a whole lot to it, nothing too fancy. My wife is driving up the driveway, so I gotta go. Don't forget to subscribe, I gotta go. She's, she's ruining my, my last minute outro. There she is, pulling into the parking lot. All right, well, there it is, bye.